Hi, the topic of this presentation is navigation, but you could be forgiven wondering why we're looking at a Moodle 198 web page. Well, let me explain. One of the things which many people talk about in Moodle is navigation. There are breadcrumbs which aren't really breadcrumbs, and some of the existing blocks really do make it a bit difficult to navigate around the site and even within the courses sometimes. I don't know about you, but I've always been using the course menu block to provide some course navigation, and I still do, as you see here. It provides a nice dynamic menu linked to each topic, so when I click here on further resources, instead of jumping me down the page, it just loads it up here and I can see topic 16. So that's Moodle 1.9, but what about Moodle 2? Well, with Moodle 2, they've changed navigation, in fact, they've changed it a lot. So here we are on my test Moodle 2 preview site. I'm going to log in as admin. So when you first log in, you can see the navigation and the settings blocks over on the left. We're going to focus on the navigation block. It has four parts. My home, which links to my Moodle page. It has the Moodle 2 test site here, which links back to the front page of the website, in fact, this one. And then it has some of the front page aspects like participants, blogs, notes, tags, and reports. The third option down is my profile. And this provides links to looking at your profile, at your forum posts, at your blog entries and your activity reports. But the one we're going to focus on here is the fourth option and they've left the best till last, my courses. This provides a drop down and drill down menu of the courses and their content. So let's click through to the podcasting course and read some show. So here we have the podcasting course. And as you can see over here on the left, there are five options. Participants, Reports, General, Topic 1 and Topic 2. Now that's all the topics that are available in this course right now, so that's all you can see. Up here, you can see the general part of the course, and then you can see Topic 1. But if I go over here and click on Topic 2, it will automatically jump into Topic 2, and as you can see here, hiding Topic 1. But one of the things which is excellent about this is that when I click on Expand here, you can then see all of the resources within each topic. Now this makes it very easy to navigate through the actual course content itself, especially since each one will be looking different and so on. So it really will help students and course creators find their way around site. Now of course, while we're in this course, we can also then expand out the other course. Now the other course doesn't have any topic set up in it, as you can see, but if I click on general, it will bring me through to there as well. And as you can see, I have a forum and an online text assignment which show up here. So that's it, that's the new navigation. It allows course to course navigation quite easily, it allows you to drill down and jump from topic to topic, which on some courses like the one I showed you on the Moodle 1.9 site, which has 16 topics, that can really be a godsend. Thank you.